COVID has certainly taught us a thing or two about leadership. What makes a good leader? How do we define real, true, good leadership? Parshish B'Shalach also talks about leadership. The Gemara in Sota, and Daf Lamed Vav, Amid Beis, and Daf Lamed Zayin, and Aleph, recount two versions of Kriyas Yamsuf. In one version, Shevet bin Yamin jumps into the water first. But says the Gemara, it is only after every other Shevet tried to beat bin Yamin to it. One Shevet said, I want to jump in first. Another Shevet said, I want to jump in first. Then bin Yamin jumps in, and because of that, says the Gemara, Shevet bin Yamin is Zoha to the Shechina, they have the base, base on Migdash in its, in its, in its uh, land. That's version number one of Kriyas Yamsuf. Version number two is a little bit different, says the Gemara. In version number two, Rabbi Shevet Yehuda is the one which jumps in, or someone from Shevet Yehuda, Nachshon ben Aminadav. And in this version, all the Shvatim and all the people of B'nai Yisrael say, I don't want to jump in. I don't want to risk my life. I'm not jumping in. And at that point, Nachshon ben Aminada from Shevet Yehuda, he jumps in first. And he says, I'm going to jump in, and he jumps right in. And of course, we know as he jumps in, the water gets up to his neck, the Yamsuf splits. So the obvious question is, well, why are there different stories? And also, why are there different rewards? Did the Shvatim want to all go into the water first? Did the Shvatim fight not to go into the water first? And how do the different stories play into the different rewards? Yehuda, because of Nachshon ben Yaminadav and Yehuda, were Zoha to Malucha, to be a king. And Sheva ben Yamin was Zoha to have the Beis HaMikdash in its, in its land. Why the difference? And this is especially troubling according to Tosos. Tosos is the one who says that there is no difference that this is just two kavana achas hoisohem. That they both have the same kavana, both Sheva bin Yamin in the first version, and Nachshon ben Aminadav in version number two had the same exact intention, which was to be Moser Nefesh, simply to give up their life for Hashem. So why the different rewards? I saw in the Sefer Chazda Hashem a beautiful answer. In general, we like to be Dan Kapschos. We like to judge Jewish nation, we like to judge people positively and assume the better about them. And therefore, we assume that all the Shvatim wanted to jump in to the Yamsuf. We assume that every single person said, I'm going to be the first one in. And yet, Binyamin beat them in. And because of that, Binyamin was Zoha, he was, he was merited to have the base of Migdash in his land. But what about the second version? The second version assumes that people did not want to go into be Moser Nefesh, did not want to risk their lives for the sake of Kla Yisrael. That, because that version, why? how did that version come about? The answer is because look what Yehuda won because of it. Because of it, Yehuda, Nachshem and Aminadah and Yehusheh, but Yehuda were Zohar to a king. A king is someone who bucks the trend who he is the one who teaches the nation, that I'm not going to go with popular opinion, I'm going to do what's right, I'm going to be most nefesh, and I'm going to be a leader. I am going to pick the path which is the proper path, not the path of popular opinion. In these years of COVID, we have seen true leadership. We've seen Rabbanim, we've seen doctors, we've seen people step up to the challenge. That is the hallmark of true leadership. It's not what popular opinion says. It's what the right thing is. And that's true leadership. That's the lesson of Nachshon ben Aminadav.